I haven't had this much fun since I discovered the agriculture minister was stealing truffles. I remember that blustery old fool. He swore that his pet pig had dug them up by accident. The tricky part was telling him from his pig. Now then, my young friend, are you ready to present the case? I've gone over everything a dozen times. Unless something goes horribly wrong, we'll get our man. And at this rate, Queen Jenna's guaranteed to notice you. If nothing else, I'll make sure your name reaches her ears. Minister Codicus is waiting. Signal him when you're ready. Good luck. And may Lyssa bless you with unparalleled eloquence. The Seraph have overstepped their bounds. I agree. Accusing a minister of treason? Cormier is watching over you. <sighs> Hear ye? The trial of Minister Julius Zaman is hereby called to order. Legate Minister Codicus presiding. Who stands for the prosecution? I do. Your Honor. We have evidence proving Minister Zaman conspired against the citizens of Divinity's Reach. He abused his authority to commit thievery, murder, and treason. We will present incriminating documents and sworn testimony from respected members of the community, including the accused's own sister. The prosecution seems to have prepared quite a compelling case. Minister Zaman, can you refute these dire accusations? Refute? Why bother? My Lord Codicus, in accordance with the most ancient tenets of Crichton Law, I invoke my right to trial by combat. This court accepts your invocation. By law and custom, you may choose a second to fight with you in the circle. Thank you, Legate Minister. I choose my retainer, Idol the Unlovable, as my second. The prosecution must also nominate a principal and a second, or forfeit the case. I will be the principal, Legate Minister. I'd like to request a short recess to select my second. Granted, when the prosecution is ready to continue, this court will reconvene and the trial by combat will begin. Even Cormier is bound by truth. We're ready to begin, Legate Minister. I have chosen my second. An interesting choice. For the record, let it be known that this duo will continue until both members of one side surrender or are defeated. If Lord Zaman proves victorious, he is innocent. The case is thrown out and these charges against him may not be brought again. If you win, then Zaman is found guilty of this crime. I understand. When you're in position, the trial by combat shall proceed. Good luck to you all. May justice prevail. End this! Be <laughs> done with it! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Victory is declared. According to the dictates of Crichton Law, Minister Zaman is found guilty. Minister Codicus does not look happy. He doesn't like anything to infringe on the rights of ministers. Trial by combat took the judgment out of his hands. Did it? How do you think Zaman knew about the ancient law in the first place? He's no historian. You think Codicus advised Zaman about the clause? Never underestimate Minister Colicus. At least we know the identity of Zaman's backer. Go and celebrate a well-earned victory. Anise and I will be in touch with you. Welcome to the big time. Population, me.